Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and today I'm going to talk to you about day trades versus options trades. I get this question so much, almost every single solitary day, where people are asking me, do I prefer to day trade or do options? They don't know what to do. They're trying to decide what to do. What do they want to do? Listen, it doesn't matter if you day trade or do options. Everything that I do is based on my Golden Gap rating system. So I get up in the morning and I rate the gap. If the gap rates 20 points or more per my 26 point rating system, I will take a trade in the direction of the gap. Whether you choose to do a put, which is a short, and buy a put in whatever we're doing, say it's Apple, for example, you can do that if you have an options account. You can make money buying puts if a stock drops. Got to get the strike right, got to get the timing right. Again, if the rating's there, it should tell you that it's going to go pretty quickly, meaning that day or within a couple of days of the same week of the expiration. When I do a day trade, I'm looking to get in and out in several minutes. I mean, it's rare that I would hold a trade all day. But again, a day trade means you need an, a margin account. And in a stock like Apple, you have to be able to afford to take a position in something that's over $170 a share. So whenever you're looking to do a, a position, and again, it's totally up to do with your cash amount and your balance and what type of account you have. You can open up one account and you could trade at a broker with 25000 or more options and day trades, set up a margin account. You could do them both in the same account. That's one idea. Or you can go prop. Okay, prop is you have to talk to a prop firm. You have to check them out. You will not be able to trade options at a prop place. You will be able to trade on margin based on their rules. Could be 10 to 1 margin. You won't need 25000 in a place like that. You could open up an account with as little as 2500 if you want to do an options account, you can open up an options account at a retail place, minimums 2000 and again, that would be a cash account. And then you would just do options. You would not be able to trade on margin with $2,000 in a retail account. Those are a couple different ideas of types of accounts that you can set up for yourself if you want to trade one, two, both. I don't think it matters what you do, as long as you can afford to take the trade, as long as you can set up the account correctly that you can trade the options or do the day trades that you'll be able to take the position to get in and to get out. Again, the whole idea of making money is to get the move. So whether you get the move in a put or whether you get the move by shorting the stock, it doesn't matter if you get it and it goes and it drops and you're short. So again, the whole purpose of trading is to make money. The means and way that you do it is up to you. I personally like doing both. I like options because I can hold overnight with a fixed risk. And I also like options because I can do very expensive stocks for less cost, okay? So there's reasons that I like to day trade, and that's because I get the fast move, quick move. I always know where I'm at by four o'clock. I'm flat by four every day in my day trades, and I like that aspect of day trading. So there are pros and cons to doing both types of trading. You have to do what works for you, but for my strategy, the Golden Gap, you can use it for both. You can even use it for swing trades or long-term investing if that's what you want to do. So again, if you're interested in more information about trading options or day trades or both and how to implement them using my Golden Gap system, which again, you would learn in the Golden Gap course, email me at Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.